give a mama a mocha. I heard that today on a podcast that I listened to, one of my favorites, uh, Heidi St. John. If you haven't checked her out, stop right now and go do that. She's great. She's very inspirational, encouraging. Hashtag off the bench. You've got to check it out. It's so great. But anyways, on her podcast this morning, I heard about, um, you know, if you give a mom a mocha. <laughs> that was kind of funny. And I do love my mochas. Hi. I'm Amy from Our Amiable Farmhouse. Today I'm going to share with you my recipe for Bordeaux mushrooms. It's an elegant side dish that is great for any holiday table. Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, and it's so delicious. My family requests this dish often. It's definitely their favorite. I mean, what's not to love about mushrooms that have been simmering all day in this rich, decadent, butter and wine sauce. Holy cow, it is good. Today's post is in collaboration with some of my blogging friends for a Thanksgiving side dish blog hop. So I encourage you to check out their post down below. I'll leave the link. They have some wonderful, wonderful ideas for side dishes for your Thanksgiving table. And man, these look really good. This recipe is really hands off. It's one of the reasons I love it. I'm just gonna prepare the mushrooms by, by just cleaning them with a tea towel. I'm gonna just dust off some of that extra dirt that might be on there. I'm gonna um, keep them whole and put them in my Dutch oven and get them simmering with all the ingredients. Let's get started. mushrooms in my pot here. I'm going to turn my stove onto a medium high and to that pot I'm going to add my beef broth and I'm going to add about one cup this is my homemade beef bone broth and I'm going to add half of my Bordeaux wine now on the blog I have a recipe that doubles this, but because man cub and beauty number two are off at hunting camp, um, it's just me and beauty's number three and four and we can't eat all these mushrooms. So I might end up freezing them. We'll eat some and freeze some for later. I'm just going to mince some garlic, half a teaspoon of dill. If you had some fresh thyme, that would be really lovely in here. Cup of butter. Oh yeah, doesn't that look appetizing? <laughs> I like to use grass-fed butter, and this Kerrygold butter is really delicious. And that's it. We're gonna bring this up to a boil. Forgot the salt. I like to add just a little bit of salt to bring out the flavors. Not too much because there's a lot of salt in that butter. Some freshly cracked pepper to taste how much ever you would like. We like a lot of pepper here. And then I'm just gonna bring that up to a boil and then I'm gonna turn it down to let it simmer all day long. Mm -hmm. 
Oh man, guys, I wish that we had smell-o-vision technology because these smell so good already. And my house is gonna smell like this all day long while it simmers and gets a nice reduction going on in there. Holy moly. It's gonna drive the kids crazy smelling it all day. been simmering all day six hours no not even that long <laughs> it's only been about four hours but I kind of sped the process up a little bit because you know I'm known for my patience around here <laughs> not as you saw before I put a whole stick of butter uh, not I mean not a whole stick I put a whole cup of butter two sticks and um, that was too much that was for the recipe that's on the blog I this recipe was halved because we're not going to be able to eat all those mushrooms when half of our family is gone you enjoyed today's recipe and video and be sure to check out my blogging friends posts in this collaboration for Thanksgiving side dish recipes if this is the first time we're meeting I'm so glad you're here if you like this video give me a thumbs up that is the greatest compliment I could receive and I would be so grateful it really helps my channel out if you subscribe and click that bell to be notified every time I publish a new video Every week I bring a new video on simple food, simple living, simply handmade. Thanks so much for stopping by our amiable farmhouse. See you next time.